Hi, this is Caroline with Expat Interviews Thriving Abroad. And today I am really excited to bring you someone who is going to bring lots of value to you as a person who is looking to move abroad. This is the number one thing that most people want to know about. And I am pleased to present to you Maya, Maya Davis from Seaforce. And she's going to talk to us a little bit today about what you need to know about working remotely. Uh, we'll just pick her brain and see what she can tell us and help us out. Thank you so much for joining us, Maya. Um, yeah. First, though, I wanted to just, uh, you are an expat yourself, right? You're originally from the Philippines and you yeah. and you went across the river. <laughs> <laughs> the ocean, the many oceans. Yeah. Yes. <laughs> Where are you now? I'm in Australia now, Melbourne, Australia, to be exact. Okay, so you're a little ways away from home. You're far away from home. Mm -hmm. And and how long have you lived in Australia? Um, seven years. Okay, so you're yes. settled in. That's your home now. Um, yes, this is my home now. All my children are here, so this is my home. <laughs> that's good. That's good. So you're an Australian. Was, was the culture different for you when you? Uh, was it really super different to get accustomed to? Yeah, it's it's, it's uh, yeah, it's really different. But um, because Australia is also known as a uh, as a, as a diverse country. So it's easy to adjust. It's not that hard yet. Okay, well, that's good to know. All right, well, let's get down to business. So um, many women uh, and men, uh, you know, the first thing that they wanna know is, all right, I'm moving from point A to point B and I need to work online. Um, mm -hmm. There are hundreds and hundreds of, uh, well, not hundreds, but there's dozens of websites that say, ah, oh, remote work here, remote work there, but oftentimes we just don't know where to begin. What is the first thing that we need to do when we're thinking about finding a job or a remote work? All right, um, the easiest way to start to look for a job online is to assess what skills do you currently have that you can offer to your potential clients. That's it. You don't have to learn a new skill. Assess yourself first. Think about maybe you, you know how to do some admin tasks as simple as um, formatting a document or um, managing an email, man managing um, emails of, of a client. So those tasks, you can offer them to a client. And also if you do if you, anything that you can do remotely, you can offer that to the client. So um, if you are, if you have an accounting background, you can offer bookkeeping services. You don't need to be a certified accountant in, in that area, but as long as you have an accounting background, you know, you know how to do some basics, uh, some basic uh, bookkeeping, then you can offer that to the client. So that's just a sample. Okay, so basically just write down all of your skill sets. What is it that you can do or that you feel comfortable doing? Mm -hmm. um, them down, yeah. And one um, example as well is if you are very active in social media, then maybe you can offer social media management services to a potential client. Yeah, I, I think sometimes we don't stop to think about all of the things that we do, especially for on social media all day long. Yes. You're pretty much an expert, right? <laughs> <laughs> Okay. Yeah, so you are managing your own page, your own profile, and you can also offer that to a busy business owner. Okay, sure. All right. So um, resume, I mean, uh, oh, uh, do we need a degree? That's something that a lot of people ask also, because we always see four-year degrees. I mean, do I have to have a special degree to get a, a decent job? working online. Oh, you don't need to have a degree. You just really have to list all the skills that you have and then offer them, put them in a, um, not, not a CV, but make, uh, pro, make a uh, business profile and then list all the services that you can offer to the client. You don't need a degree in order to offer your services to a potential client. 
Okay, that's good to know. But what are some of the clients right now that might be looking for work? Where, where do we start? All After right. we okay. so there are a lot of online job platforms that you can go to uh, with regards to looking for a job. So online job platforms like um, um, freelancer.com, people per hour, those are the sites that you can uh, go to. Upwork is also popular. Um, TopTal is also popular to get online jobs. And you can Google them. Just, uh, just type in the keyword online jobs or remote jobs, then all of them will come up. And then you will just have to, if you want to get an idea on what, uh, what skills are in demand right now, you can also go to those sites and then you know, maybe you will discover that, oh, I can do this. For example, social media management or just email management or just simply researching, you can offer that to a client. So, um, and then there's another one, which is you can also um, join Facebook groups and use the keywords, online jobs, home-based jobs, remote work. So there are lots of, um, Facebook groups right now that are um, posting online jobs that are available. But and, how, um, mm -hmm. yes. I'm sorry. Yeah, but and, um, sorry, go ahead. No, I was gonna say, how do we know that those are legitimate job offers though? Like the ones that you'd find in right. the Facebook groups? Yeah, so that is one of the issues of the online job seekers, how to know if, this, if it's a, uh, a legitimate um, uh, job or a client, what you'll do is you, when you find uh, a job post that is really, um, is really something that you would, you would be interested in, um, go and apply. And then once you get the name of the client and the company name, um, do a research, do, do your due diligence. And then, um, you know, ev everything can be found online now. You can verify online if, it, if it's a legitimate company or not. Um, there's LinkedIn as well, where you can check if they have a LinkedIn profile and also their company profile should be there as well. Um, so another, another one is to look for jobs online through, you know, a normal job boards. Like, I'm not sure if you know Monster, Career Builder. In the US, it's popular. Um, in Canada, we can use Workopolis. So most jobs that are posted there are legitimate. So you can find jobs there as well because you just you, you just have to use the right keyword like like what I said earlier. It's remote or online jobs or home based. If you use those keywords, you can find um, online jobs easily. Um, what about pay rates? Um, pay rates they yeah. vary and are on the task, and also you have to know how to value yourself. You don't. You don't have to imitate what the others are charging. Um, let's say uh, it depends on your needs. Let's say you know that you should be charging $30 per hour for a certain task, then charge $30 per hour and make sure that you would be good at it. You know, you have to make sure that you, um, if you could, if you could over deliver, that's better. And that would give you a long term relationship with the client. And it may, and that client will refer you to other clients as well. Sure, but um, I, I think uh, that's difficult. I mean, is there a, 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 I don't know, how do you measure what you're worth? For example, I don't know, let's say I have an accounting background. I'm not a CPA or do I have a four year degree, but I do have a lot of bookkeeping experience. How would I know what to, to charge a client or what to offer a client? and not okay. make them say, oh no, I'm going to pay someone less money. Yeah. All right. What you do is you also go to the online job platforms that I mentioned earlier, and then you check there um, the ongoing rates for those type of services the other people are, um, are offering. And then um, check for yourself if, if that's good for you or not. Now, for example, you can only you, you, you saw a, a job that's offering $20, $20 per hour, let's just say. And then you said uh, to yourself, oh, maybe I need $30. So why not look for another client? 
Because when you're offering online jobs, it doesn't mean that you have to be exclusive with, uh, to one client. You can also work for multiple clients and get the money that you think you deserve. Yeah. Yeah, that makes sense. That makes sense. Um, are most, are, are, I mean, are there a lot of jobs? I know that you go to these boards and you see tons and tons and tons and pages and pages of jobs, but are there actually, I mean, is there a demand right now? Um, even I know with COVID and people are at home working from home, but is there really a, a huge demand for, for remote workers just uh, where you can work from anywhere. They're, they're not looking for you to be living in a specific place. Yes, I started this business in 2006. And um, it's, it's in demand and it's, it's, it got even busier during um, the pandemic. Uh, when COVID started, um, everyone or every company is now embracing the, um, the idea of uh, remote working. So uh, yes, there are lots of um, um, jobs right now. It's very in demand. Anything that can be done online, as simple as researching, um, they are being um, uh, sought now by uh, potential clients. So research, research is like looking for email address or a contact person um, a contact detail of a person or a company, um, you can offer that as a service to a client. That's a good idea. Yes. That's a great idea because that's pretty simple. It doesn't require you to have like a four-year degree to do research. So there are yes. companies that are looking for researchers. Yes. So I, I offer a free training for that. I post it on my YouTube channel on how to uh, do lead generation. So the term for that is lead generation because you are looking for leads for a client, for a, for a potential client. That sounds great. Well, I think um, that is a lot of information for us to absorb. What I'm going to do is I'm going to leave a link for, uh, for you. Uh, in case anyone is interested in connecting with you. So, you know, if they need further information, but I think um, pretty much it makes me feel better to know that, you know, with a little bit of work, you can certainly find um, there is work to be found and we don't have to just always teach English online. Um, Correct, yes. Would you say- Sorry, what is, what's important here, Caroline, is if you, have, if you set a goal, let's say you wanted to earn $5,000 a month just, um, just by doing um, remote work, uh, you can do that by getting multiple clients. You can also do that by just getting one client. It depends on how you are going to sell your services to your potential clients. You can earn as much as $10,000 a month if you want. Really? Yes, you can. Yeah, that's possible. Sitting in so, my pajamas um, at home. Wow, I love it. Yes, <laughs> correct. <laughs> and just make sure that you're staying persistent and challenging yourself. You know, the start is always the hardest, but if you keep going, you will get results. I like yeah, in that. My, I in like my that. 14 years, 15, going 15 now, years in this business, um, yeah, I, I can I can really say that this is really effective once you don't, you know, just don't quit. Just don't quit. Keep looking for clients. Keep offering your services. Show up to your clients during interview or Zoom meetings. Then you will get results. You will get the money that you need every month working, but just by working remotely or online. Uh, the last thing I wanted to ask you, some people may feel like they're not good at writing resumes, uh, you know, or putting their CV together, or even just putting their talents together in a way that's appropriate. What, what suggestions do you have? Can you assist with that? Yes, I assist with that. I have um, a YouTube video that um, shows how you would um, format your CV or a business profile, because there are two types. You can offer your services um, using a business profile and you can apply for an online job using a CV. So those two are different. So you must have two. So on, on, um, an online profile or CV and a business profile. 
Oh, okay, that's interesting, right? Because there are people maybe that have done so many different things in their life and they're like, oh my God, I don't know what to put or should I put them all or just put one? Okay, so that's very interesting. So we're gonna put the link um, for your channel and for your office and your services. And thank you, Maya, I really appreciate it. I hope that uh, this will help someone who's uh, trying to figure out how they can they can find some work online. Thank you so much. <laughs> it's a pleasure. It's a pleasure for me to share everything that I know, my my knowledge and experience in this industry. Thank you. And thank you for watching. Make sure that you subscribe for more expat interviews. We do them every Tuesday and Thursday. Brand new interviews with folks all over the globe that are doing amazing things. Thank you for watching.